Hi guys, welcome to our video for today. So for this video, we're going to make our first video that will use Power Query. So Power Query is a tool in Excel that allows you to get data from different sources. And let's start by getting data from the Excel file itself. So what you want to happen in this task is you want to consolidate the data from these three worksheets into just one table. Okay. So maybe you want to create a pivot table that comes out from these three worksheets. Then what you need to use is Power Query. So the very first step that we're going to do is we have to convert this range of cells into tables. Because if you want to use Power Query for to solve the problem, then you have to convert them into table first. So to convert this range of cells into a table, you have to click any one cell within the range of cells and then do a control T. And that will prompt the create table pop-up wherein you can confirm if it managed to detect the correct number of or the range of cells. And then check my table as headers, especially if you really have headers. And by the way, this trick will only work if your table headers are the same all throughout the worksheets because that's what Excel is going to look at in order to combine the columns. So that's the first step. And we have to do that okay, to all of the worksheets. So you can again control T. And then that would produce again the create table dialog box and then click OK. One way again is by going to insert and then there's also a method here without using the shortcut key insert then table and it will give you the same effect. And I hope you've been seeing in our video that our rows, we have a lot of rows for each of the worksheets. So let's see how Excel can combine them. So here we have how many rows we have like 29,481 rows. Take note that the first cell is counted. Here we have 23,000 something. And here we have 21,000. So we want to combine all of those thousands of rows into just one table. So let's start. So first, of course, have your worksheet that will house the table. And then go to data. And then go to get data. So we'll not going to use any of these default choices okay because these ones will connect to other files we'll do that in another video for now what we're going to do is we're going to use from other sources and then we're going to create a blank query so click and this will launch the power query editor so give it some time it really takes some time to load and welcome to Power Query. So in Power Query, you can see that it's technically a, a program on its own within Excel. And the idea is that you can create queries out of this tool. You can connect to other files. And the first query that we're going to do is we're just going to query the current workbook. So we're going to write a formula for that in Power Query. So like any other formula, we'll start with equal sign. And then there's actually a very simple code for this. So you simply have to just type Excel dot and then current workbook. So this code will extract all the workbooks in the current workbook okay, or all the worksheets in the current workbook. So once you've typed excel.currentworkbook and then open close parenthesis, hit enter. And you will see that the code managed to see that there are three tables in our worksheet. Take note that if you did not convert them into a table first, then you will not see anything here. Now, you see that this is what we have. And this is actually what will happen. This is what will show up. If we don't do anything else, it will just be a three row table with two columns that says content and name. And of course, that's not what we want. We want the data itself. So for that, you should see that there's this button in the content column. 
It's like an arrow to the left, arrow to the right kind of button. So click on that and it will load all the columns available for those three tabs. So you can actually select only specific columns that you want from each of the worksheets. So that's why it's important that we get to combine them or we get to have the same name. So as you could see, we're seeing here just one set of headers because technically they are the same headers on all three worksheets. And then let's say that I just want all of them. I don't want to remove any of them. So just click OK from here. And there you go. This is a preview of what will happen if the file will be turned over or the table will be turned over to Excel. But take note that this is still within Power Query. You're just seeing what the query result will be. It's more of like a preview. And now it's time to turn it over to Excel. So under Home of Power Query, we will go to Close and Load. Okay. And then it will turn you back to Excel. And as you could see, it's starting to load the data. And if you remember, uh, each of the worksheets sort of like have 20,000 rows each. And now we get a combined 56,047 uh, rows loaded. And here you go. You now have all the columns. And you even get this additional column here that says name in order to get which table it came from. And then some of our, our all of our dates became numbers. So you simply have to convert the format into a short date. And we will see that we have here data from three years when we click on the filter. And now from here, you can do anything you can do with a regular table. Like for example, you could insert a pivot table if you want. And this pivot table is technically coming out of those three uh, worksheets. Okay. So that's it. Hope to see you in another video. And please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And comment if you have any questions about this method.